we get paid to read these books. Formal education will pay your living. The self-education will pay your fortune. This Damon John Power of Broke is giving me so much energy. It is amazing. Three points that I've gotten from the first part of the book. And he's talking, so the whole, when I first heard the title, like the power of broke, like, wh what is he talking about? I couldn't get my mind wrapped around it. But after I'm about, you know, 30 or 40 pages in, I'm getting the gist of it. He's telling this story about uh, Steve Aoki. Hey, if I'm, I may be mispronouncing his name. He's a famous, very successful DJ. When he was building his business, got a music label and all the artists and all this stuff. When he was building his business, they were struggling financially to get it off the ground. All right, now listen to this. He says he still wasn't making any money. So by this time, he's having events. He's got a music label. He's got artists working for him. He's got 15 in, 14 interns working in a 900 square feet apartment in Manhattan. It's, all, it's just chaos. He said it's still, he still wasn't making any money. But he looked up one day and he realized he had built this pulsing, thrumming business all on the back of his sweat and hustle. It was the power of broke man. Don't think it could have happened any other way. Steve doesn't think so either. When I asked him how things would have gone, listen to this, this is it, this is the point. He said, when I asked him how things would have gone if his father had given him $100,000. Now, his father was rich. He founded a restaurant chain, but he didn't get any money from his dad. He said, when I asked him how things would have gone if his father had given him $100,000 early on to bankroll his business, Steve smiles, shrugs his shoulders. He says, I would have squandered it, spent it all on the wrong things for all the wrong reasons. No way I could have built the same energy, the same movement. No way the community would have taken me seriously. You have to want it, but it cuts deeper than that. You have to need it like a hunger, you know? So the point is, if his dad had given him the money to cover whatever payroll or whatever expenses to help him keep his business going, that wouldn't have helped him. That would have delayed the problem. Ooh, we, I'm preaching. Teammates, sometimes, some lessons you can't learn with money. Some lessons you gotta learn, you can't learn this lesson. The only way you can learn this lesson is by learning it. You gotta learn how, or we have to learn how to be productive, effective. We got to learn how to multiply our efforts. We got to get better at leadership, building an organization, scaling up our, our activity, our volume. We got to get some numbers going and get some zeros behind them numbers and grow our scale, our business. A lot of cases, if money ain't the answer. It's getting better with your time, better with your leadership, better with your people skills, better with who to work with, who not to work with. Whoo, man, this is, he preaching to me. That's point one, is sometimes it's not money. The only way to learn this lesson is to learn it. You can't pay for it. All right, you got to, ooh, you got to learn this lesson. You can't pay for it. That's a whole word. All right, listen to this. Now he's giving us another story about this girl, Acacia somebody, Acacia Brindley. She started, uh basically being a blogger back when she was 11 years old before blogging was a thing. Now, I don't even, I don't know. He didn't say what year this was, uh, but she was 11 or 12 years old. So she started taking pictures and posting herself, create a big follow. Now, listen to this. This is what, now, this is my second point. This girl's 11, 12 years old. She's posting pictures on Instagram and all the social media platforms. And she says, at the time, my blog had nothing to do with my personality, she tells me. It wasn't like it is today. So at first, I was able to protect myself a little bit. I could tell myself, these people don't didn't know me, couldn't hurt me, whatever. But at the same time, there was an important lesson in there. Even as a little kid, I could see that these people were bullying me just based on my appearance. It was like in school. I was just a kid posting them some simple pictures in flannels, flannels and sweaters and my braces. I was 13, 14 years old. And on and I keep on going. And she says she didn't respond. And the point is, and then Damon John, he starts talking about when he started designing clothes. 
he says, uh, in my neighborhood, it was rough. It, you know, the people was rough around the edges. They didn't know what to make of me sewing my own hats, designing my own shirts. It took I took a lot of heat for that. But if someone stepped to me on this, I usually stepped back. I gave as good as I got. It was the way of the street. My point is, teammate, listen to this. This is important. I don't care what you're doing. You are going to experience some negativity. There is going to be some haters. People got some negative to say. It ain't going to work. You did this. You still in that, doing that insurance business. You made your million yet. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? I mean, it's just, it's just negative energy. And it can come from the people closest to you. Teammates, you got to already know in advance. You got to have your energy rock solid. Const- I'm not, you are not getting ready to discourage me and get me off track from what I'm doing. I got a vision. Get out of my way. Get out of my face. Go on somewhere with that and keep moving forward. You would be amazed in our type of business in sales, marketing, team building. I already know when a new person starts with us, they can sign up and say, hey, I'm pumped up. I'm excited. I want to, I'm want. i excited about working with you. We're going, I'm going to get my license. We're going to help some people. And 30 minutes later, they quit. 30 minutes later, it ain't for me. 30, the next day, you can't, they, they just disappear. Teammates, they let somebody talk. I already know. I mean, they, I don't even keep calling them and try to figure out what it was because I already know. Somebody discouraged them. Their strength of character, their level of commitment wasn't strong enough to outweigh that little bit of a resistance they got. And it blew them out of the water almost instantly. Man, I hate it when that happens. All right. Because it could change your whole life and get talked out of something by a, a message or a post or a comment or a family member that ain't got nothing going on in their life worth even dealing with. All right, last point. So to point two, you got to have a plan for handling rejection. Expect resistance. All right, last point, and I'm going to let y'all go. So now he's talking about, and that's another thing about reading these books, man. When you read these books, you get, you know, I don't just read stuff that I like reading. I like, you know, different kinds of stuff. Like this book, I'm reading about, he got me reading about some 11, 12, 13-year-old girl who was blogging. Like, I wouldn't ordinarily be reading about that. Now I'm reading about another guy. He's a skateboarder and what he did to build his brand. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even be learning, reading nothing about no skateboarder in from Ohio. And or guy that started, a Japanese guy that was a DJ and went from, California and New York. I mean, just reading these books forces you to take in some other perspectives and different types of people and where they came from and what they did and how they got there. We can so easily get caught up in our own circle and not branch out. Reading this stuff lets me experience all these other different types of people. Ooh, don't you love that? All right, last point. So now he's talking about a skateboarder who blew up. Blew up. Now, I don't know none of these people. Rod Durdick. He was a skateboarder, producer, reality show star. So going on and on. So this is when he started off doing this stuff at like skateboarding at 11. The entrance fee, though. So, okay. So he started skateboarding. He was pretty good at it. He was just doing it in the neighborhood. It was a competition going coming up in his area sponsored by a store. The interest fee, though, was so it was an interest fee to get in the competition. He said this interest fee, though, was out of reach. So Rob reached in. So Rob reached in what ways he could. He improvised. This teammate that is huge. So many people stop them for they don't. I don't have money for this. I don't have money for that. Teammates, money is almost never an excuse to move forward because. If you up waking up, you can get up. If your phone's still on, your phone's still working, you haven't lost your voice, I mean, you can get something going on. Listen to this. He improvised an ability that had already served him well on his skateboard, an ability he keep calling on throughout his career. Listen to this. And this is I'm going to let you go. Even at 11 years old, he was quick on his feet. He knew to work the angles. He went to the event organizers with a proposal. He said, look, 
If I can get 10 people to sign up, would you let me in for free? That what? Y'all missed it. He said, if I can get 10 people, would you let me in for free? They're looking at him. It's professional skateboarders. He's 11. They said, sure, we let you in for free. And guess what he do? He gets in and blow up. Teammates. What are we, what challenge are we looking at? We just need to start looking at it from another angle. What obstacle we think has got us kind of hemmed up, but all we need to do is just flip it over and look at it from another way. Instead of, I don't have the money, well, if I get 10 people, can I do it for free? Sure, you bring us 10 people to pay you, sure you can do it for free. Teammates, there is no limit to what is we are capable of. Uh, I love reading these books, man. It is absolutely so imperative to stay focused. We working so hard on being positive. We don't have time to be negative. We get paid to read these books. Love you guys. We'll run this back in tomorrow.